I am equally concerned with C51 and the way it will criminalize any dissent. This is the same legislation that just in recent months has been being put through in Turkey. It has caused so much anger within their parliament that people have come to fist fights in parliament over the people that want to put the legislation through and the people that don't. My concern is that over the next couple of decades, we're going to have an increasing population that doesn't have water, that doesn't have food, that doesn't have the resources that it needs to take care of the planet. It's going to have people on unemployment because more and more automation and computers and machinery replacing the jobs that people do now with people that drive taxis uh, to automatic driving cars to the people that serve your your food everything being all automated in restaurants where you punch the pads and you decide what you're going to order and a robot brings it out to you i don't think anybody's jobs are really safe for the people that think that their job is and uh this is going to cause protests this is going to cause people saying we need water we need food we need money and when all of our tax dollars are being upsourced to the wealthy elite and their corporations we're having major corporations pay no taxes we're having the wealthy pay no taxes all the tax burden is on the working poor this is going to cause civil unrest and this is why worldwide it's not in canada and turkey it's everywhere this legislation is being put in, orchestrated by the elite, controlling all governments around the planet. It's happening it's simultaneously everywhere. So that in 10 years, 15 years, when big issues come along and you want to protest, if you don't have a permit, if you don't have this, you don't have that, it's illegal, then they can arrest you for being a terrorist. That's what C-51 is going to do, is going to make a police state. I am strongly opposed to that for what is going to be in the future, more so than what it is today. But if we sit complacently and say it's not so bad, it's just a little bit, it's just another little bit of a freedom erosion, it's just, you know, it's not a big deal. By the time it is a big deal, it's going to be too late, my friends. It's going to be way too late. Elizabeth May has been the, was the first person to speak out with the Greens, the first person to speak out against this bill. It took a couple weeks for a couple others to just come up and say, like Brian or, or Tom McCare, to say, okay, maybe this isn't so good, we should look at it. And then to end up being opposed to it. But to be opposed and looking for reforms and liberals looking for reforms, this bill cannot be reformed. It needs to be defeated. It needs to be scrapped. Sign Elizabeth May's petition. Make sure you keep on being active. Keep on writing your MPs. Keep on talking to your friends and your family. Make sure that everybody is aware of the fact that, you know, it's not that we should be opposed. And I'm going to say this, Julian, to all police. There are good police. Yeah. They're investigating domestic disputes to try to protect women. They're dealing with shoplifters and neighbor disputes. They're dealing with things, for the most part, pretty well. Do any of them want to be pawns in a game where they are forced in like in a G20 or G8 G summit to have to arrest people? Many of them do not. Many of them are opposed to C-51. Many. So. I think we need to focus on the fact that this is bad legislation, why it's bad legislation, and keep focused on that. Anyways, thank you for all coming out, and keep fighting the good fight. Down with C-51.